It all starts with a dead girl. Ever since I was little, I've had this dream. It's the end of summer. The girl is running through the woods. The moon, the scent of pines. And then the gunshot. It always felt so real. The blood on my cheek, the cold sweat running down my skin. I'd managed to convince myself it really happened. This scar of a memory. A part of me I could never fully understand. Uh, well, that wasn't the only part. No wonder people used to think I was strange. If they only knew. That day when the phone rang, it was the hardest day of my life. The day I went home to say goodbye to my father dress him up for his last journey, put him in a suit, fix his tie. Simple. Just the things he did every day. But looking through his stuff wasn't easy. I needed a moment to pull myself together. I was almost ready. I just had to find his special tie clip. Well, greetings and salutations. Welcome everybody to a start of a brand new series on the channel, The Medium um, from Bloober Team. That's uh, pretty excited to get to play this one. This just dropped like um, an hour ago. So that's uh, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And so, yeah, this is like a first exclusive for Xbox Series X. And yeah, one of the fascinating things about this is that, let's see what we got here. October Memorial Holiday Grand Annual Funeral at 10, Ultrasound, Ultrasound, Our Lady of the Rosary, Biopsy, and a Package to Marianne, Neurologist, Funeral again, Ultrasound, Neurosurgeon, Funeral at 9. Wow, was her dad like an undertaker or something like that? And November 1, All Saints Day, All Souls Day, November 5th, surgery. Interesting. But yeah, that's um, the unique aspect of the medium is that obviously you play in the material world and the spiritual world with a dual screen, kind of almost like a co-op play type interface 
Okay, just getting used to the controls here. But, uh, I can tell you right off the bat, control-wise, boy, this reminds me a lot of Until Dawn. Let me go over here and take a look. Let me walk around this side. Nope. Oh, she stops right there. Nothing along here. Okay. Looks like that was that. Just find the calendar and you call it good. Hmm. Shit. Here, kitty, yeah. kitty, kitty, kitty. Nice to see you too. But uh, one of the first titles that's so interesting got a door there. We got a room here. They must know that we're going to go into this room. Jack's yeah, room. Oh. It's like he never. Damn it. Oh, we can't pet the kitty. Yeah, another interesting thing here is that. Uh, Two separate music composers, one for the material world and another one for the spirit world. Um, the com music composer, Adaki something or other, anyway, um, from Silent Hill. Jack was a humble, religious man. He ran a funeral home, and I'd help out whenever I could. It felt good to be useful. And the composer for the material world, where, which we're in right now. Anyway, long story short, he's from um, like Layers of Fear and uh, The Witch. That horror game, which was crazy, crazy game. Never did play that one all the way through, but on the channel, we did do Layers of Fear, the original and Layers of Fear 2. I used to think I'd never fit in, but Jack. He didn't mind my weirdness. He kept telling me I was special. Hmm. Okay. Obviously, we're going to find out more about this Jack character. Keep hissing at me. Who do you think's going to feed you now? Hmm. So Jack is no longer with us. Jack was part of the Solidarity Movement. He spent a few months in an internment camp, but even that couldn't dampen his spirit. Hmm. What do we got here? Come on, Jack, where'd you put it? Okay, let's do this the other way. Our first ability, insight. Okay, I think that's it. Jack's waiting downstairs. Time to say goodbye. Okay, if you guys see a hard cut here, um, they do have PNRs in this game, uh, point of no return. So if you go through a door, um, yeah, you can't go back. So. Make sure to explore your areas thoroughly before you head out a door. Crazy. Weird to be back in my old room. So many memories. Yeah, I used to have a thing for them don't know why really I guess they just used to make me happy Jack knew it well that's why there's so many of them here
cool. Kids from the orphanage. Not all of them had my luck. That's why I kept coming back. To play. To take care of them. To listen. That was the least I could do. Interesting. Use that inside ability and take a quick look around. I think we're Gucci there. My oldest family heirloom. As a kid, I'd show this to people just to freak them out. I'd usually say something like, pretty sick, huh? I was such a dork. Wow, interesting. Tense care unit, mission card, general information, Mary Ann, three years old, female, initial diagnosis, second degree, thermal burns covering 35% of her total body surface, trunk area limbs, suspected inhalation injury. Uh, cure manager stabilization, early wound coverage, respiratory support, initiated fluid, resuscitation, resuscitation initiated, pain control initiated, patient placed on high flow oxygen until carbon monoxide poisoning is ruled out. Wow, so she is a burn victim. I used to get a lot of these. To me, they were like trophies. Badges of honor for doing the right thing. Jack wasn't too amused, but he did his best to cover for me. Hmm. I kind of feel bad for making him go through all that. Dear Mr. Orkin, we must request you attend the next parent-teacher meeting as we would like to discuss with you the situation that took place last Thursday. To recap, Marianne gave one of the students a message from his recently deceased grandmother. We understand it's Marianne's way of consoling her fellow students, but we are sure you realize that this behavior is inappropriate to say the least given that it is not the first behavioral problem we've informed you about we believe it's high time for us to meet and talk about marianne's future in our school principal muckety muck interesting interesting indeed Yeah, that's uh we came out of this room um so if you do guys do see a hard cut because we came out of this room i thought i'd save that door for later and i started walking down this hallway to see what was down here i'm like whoa there is a whole nother area over here yeah and there's another door at the end of this hallway once you go through it you can't go back so we would have missed all this Oh, a cat's dish. Oh, maybe we gotta find some kitty food to feed the demonic cat. I don't know if it's demonic. That's kind of rude. Looks nourishing. This must be the kitty food. Nice. And we get to feed the cat. Okay. Let's go ahead and go over and take care of this real quick so we make sure to get this done. Here you go. What's your face? Glad to see you're still kicking around. Nice. Feed the cat for the win. Um, I guess you don't have to worry about water. And yeah, we are playing on Xbox Series X. Um, it'll be, it'll be obviously apparent in the thumbnail. Uh, good morning, Krakow. That's right, we're in uh, Poland. Want to read this? A symbolic funeral of Sarisa Mind. Uh, Miners of Sarisa Mind came to work today as usual. But instead of flashlights and pickaxe, they carried a black casket adorned with lit candles. 
a symbol of their company's demise. This is not the death of our mine, says a member of the Cerisa Mine Rescue Committee. We will not let our jobs be buried. This casket is meant for the Vistula Coal Company, they added. Uh, the miners have also announced that they will come to work tomorrow. They refuse to accept that the Cerisa Mine was liquidated. Meanwhile, their colleagues continue to protest outside the company headquarters in Teach Taichi, building a symbolic wall in the entrance. Each day, they add another layer of brick. There are only five left until the wall reaches the ceiling. NATO's new mission, projecting stability in a post-Cold War, or a Cold War world. Earlier today, U.S. President Bill Clinton delivered a major foreign policy address to commemorate the fall of the Berlin Wall. The president commended the progress that was made in the last decade towards strengthening democracy in Central and Eastern Europe. We also outlining the challenges that lie ahead. The U.S. leader also emphasized the fact that his country's leadership and involvement has been critical into Europe's peaceful transformation. President Clinton's vision of an undivided, democratic, and peaceful Europe has now been furthered by another key achievement, the induction of Poland, Hungary, and Czech Republic into the North Atlantic Treaty Organization. By doing so, the NATO leaders are hoping to strengthen these young democracies, ensuring their future contribution to the security and stability of Europe. Wow, that's a bit of a mouthful, but interesting. We're uh, back in Clinton's era. President Clinton. I can't believe it's all still here. Oh, Jack. Hmm. Wow, 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 lots of things to inspect here. We would have almost missed this. Glad I came back to take care of this. Okay. I guess I forgot about this one. I can do it now. Interesting. So these must be negatives of some sort. See what happens when we put this one in there. No. Maybe he wants us to put it in this one first. Do you think actually you'd go one, two, three? See. Um, here we go. Illuminate photo for five seconds. Dip in multigrade for three seconds. Uh, then stop for three seconds and fix her for three seconds. I've never developed film, uh, in my life. So I don't, you know, everything was, is digital. So this is weird. Um, let's see. Let me do this one first. No. No. Oh, maybe we have to. I got it. I got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Sorry, it took a second. Let's go ahead and close that for a bit. Can't set a timer. <sighs> Missed my window. Now it's overexposed. What? Oh no. This is going to be a process. Okay. Five seconds. Three seconds each. Okay. Let's give this a shot. I don't know. This seems a little drawn out, but... One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Noise. And it's back out of here. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Noise. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. We're getting there.
one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. That was the last photo I took of you, Jack. Sweet. We Shit. did it, y'all. We did it, y'all. Okay. Do we dare? No, no, no. We can only do the one. Okay, mission accomplished. I feel good. We feel good. And nothing else it showed up. You can go out the door. Okay. What is on here? That's the newspaper. Nothing around there. I think I actually got this explored. Yay. Got one more room down here. Interesting. 1984. Okay. Nothing too weird on there. Don't need to use the restroom. Nothing in the tub. Okay. Yeah, and that's the door that's uh, the PNR. Um, once you go out that door, you cannot come back. So we'll head back up the hallway, come back towards this way. Okay, that's a dead end. I think we're good. We are ready to move on with the story. Oh, oh no. This door. Yep. We lived upstairs from Jack's funeral home. It wasn't as weird as it sounds. Besides, if it wasn't for that, I may never have learned to use my powers. My powers? Yeah, I gotta remember to use this insight thing. And, yeah, she can't go through there, so let's just head out the door. Wow, check this out. Game save, too. Well, what happens if she goes this way? Oh my goodness, you can go either or. Okay. No hidden items or anything like that there. Oh. Go ahead and check out the textures in that window ceiling. Our window frame, the wood, and all that. Can't go into the neighbor's house. That's too bad. Well, I won't lie. This is a little dark down through this stairwell. Yeah, and apologies, boy, if my voice sounds off today because uh yeah i got a bit of a sore throat today hmm. okay no she can't go down there jack taught me to accept my condition of all my foster parents he was the only one who saw it as a gift and not a curse hmm. for some reason my controller is vibrating and it's vibrating more. The last goodbye funeral home. Okay. Yeah, if you guys know me, that's love to explore. Um, bit of an OCD thing, so I definitely enjoy like finding everything. I don't know why. Um, and see the controller stop vibrating. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I don't know what the vibration thing was supposed to signify. You know. But there was definitely nothing indicating that, hey, you need to 
like investigate this van, open up the door, or anything like that, so let's carry on. Ask goodbye funeral home. Looks like that's an elevator. Let's walk down this hallway. Yeah. Who doesn't? Inner investigator. You inspected 25 objects in a single playthrough. Wow. Okay. Anything else down here? Nope. Oh, we're good. Hmm. Nice. Get to the funeral home. Prepare Jack for his last Jack's journey. Jack's in the prep room. Oh, man, this would be brutal. Yeah, I got that one there. I can tell you the ambient sound and the atmospheric sound on point so far. You know, and there's been reports that, uh, let's see if we can get around to that. Whatever this note is on the desk. Okay. Here it is. Ah. So we had to find a key before we can get into Jack's room. I wonder how close their relationship was. Uh, record of funeral named deceased Adam Nowick, family contract. General male, 76, Krakow. Name mother, Hannah, father, Stanis, law, occupation, student, married, date of birth or death, 1999, cause of death, car accident, brutal. Uh, additional service and body, body embalming dressing body uh cosmetician hairdresser autopsy repair flowers and uh jack miss nowak brought a funeral payment confirm confirmation today it is in the cabinet also robert took friday off so we'll need to find someone else for the funeral mary ann Hey, I think we're good here. Yeah, we investigated that desk. Wow, and that was the, like the first load in that I've seen. I was just going to say like reports of performance issues uh, on this game, but other than that, just one chop right there. I haven't well, obviously, we haven't experienced any. As far as any frame drops or choppiness. Hmm. wonder what this, like, white tree signifies. Well, I won't lie, the person that just walked by that window there just freaked me out. Okay. Guess we're Gucci. We don't have to look at the urns. Oh, this is where people just come in. Okay. Gotcha. And schedule their... Or funeral arrangements. And is this a dead end? Okay. So far, so good.
Wow, man, that is dark AF. I didn't think that was a door right there. Ugh, crematorium. Dude, we're going into the morgue. Not sure if I'm ready for this. No, no, not ready for this at all. You know, always like to work around the outside and um, then work the inside. So we're good there. Okay. Guess we get to pull and our adopted father out. This is crazy. Hey, Jack. Dude. Bruh. The tie clip. Mm. Well, weird. I got your special clip. No. Where's your tie? Uh huh. I didn't see anything in the... Maybe let's go check this jacket over here. Special tie. This is interesting. There it is. Crazy. Did not see it there at all. Mine clamp with hi. Okay. Interesting. Snazzy. You wouldn't have it any other way. Snazzy, huh? We'll get the mechanics down on this. Working on it still. I didn't expect this to be easy. I guess I didn't know what to expect. When things get personal, it, it just burns you from the inside out. There. I guess you're ready. But am I? Wow. Wow, 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 wow. That would be brutal. I wish it was like your mother or your father or something like that. Ugh. Wonder what he passed away from. Oh, can't you people read? The signs that's closed. Do what? Crazy, the controller is like vibrating in my hand right now. Prepare Jack for his last journey completed. Jack upstairs. Well, I won't lie, man. The lighting effects are really awesome. You see your shadow and boy, the textures in the floor. Let's, 
let's just get out of here. Let's just get out of here. Wow. Boy, in the top right hand corner, it looks like a shadow of a person, a really tiny shadow of a person up there. That looks like a sh what? What? I don't know what the bubbling pipe sound is. That is weird. Like you're looking at a long hallway or something like that, but it's just a super thick wall with a window. Had to had to check the in front of us over here. Yeah. No, 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 no. That door just closed by itself. She's like straight up looking at that door too. Oh man, let's get in there. Let's go in there. What the hell? Right. Man, and that just gave me goosebumps. What are we doing in here? The controller's like totally vibrating again. Guess you felt it too. And then it happened. I have dreamed so many times before. Just when I thought my day couldn't get any worse. The spirit oh. world. Oh, where is that darn notebook? I'm gonna be late. I need to find that. Marianne? Oh. Marianne, are you... Are you crying, my child? I... It's fine, Jack. Now, you didn't happen to see my notebook, did you, darling? Uh, my memory's a bit fuzzy. This is crazy. So much for aging gracefully. Where is that? Thing? Listen, Jack. Probably get some rest. Forget the notebook. Oh, no, no, no. I've got so much work, my dear. It's I, okay, I, Jack. No, I, I can't just... What? Let it go. Uh, it's not important. You... You are crying. What's wrong, dear? <gasps> Why is it so cold in here? <laughs> Joe, where is that? Shh, 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 shh. Uh, it's okay. okay. Since the moment you walked into my life, 
Wow. Over there. <laughs> Always. <laughs> Jack has taken off to the spirit world. Most people would give anything to have that opportunity. To say all the things that were left unsaid. But it didn't make things any easier. I could help a thousand souls cross over, but when it came to Jack, it still hurt like hell. I love you too, Daddy. Oh, it is her father. I used to think everyone saw the world the way I did. Divided. Torn between two realities. But no. I was the only one. Or so I thought. We're closed. There's another funeral home across town. I can give you the number. I... Marianne. Who is this? You don't know me, Marianne. But I know you. Look. What? If this is a joke, I... You need to listen to me, Marianne. Okay, I I'm hanging up. I know what you are. What? Who is this? My name is Thomas. I need your help. Uh, listen, if that's all you've got, I'm... No, uh, there's more. I can give you the answers you've been looking for your whole life. But I, I need you to trust me. Trust you? What? I don't even know you. It all starts with a dead girl. Oh, wow, 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 wow. The Nemo Resort. Find me there. Please. The light, it's almost gone. It's not dark yet, but it's getting there. You're the only one who can stop it. You're my only chance. Hello? Hello? Shit. Wow, I guess that's the prologue, I suppose. And just setting up the whole story. Anyhow, that's uh, it's just a running credits right now and a little bit of a photo shoot thing going on here. Some video clips. That's up. Uh, we are playing on Xbox Series X. I know on X it does do a do native 4K, but um, the Bloober team decided to go with uh, 30 frames per second, which most uh, horror genre titles, because it's not like a fast moving first person shooter game, it's so they went with a cinematic 30 FPS style, which is okay for these types of games, which is actually good for these types of games. But I will be recording this in 4K 60 FPS, just so it comes off a little more crispy, even though the game itself is, and they have some sort of dynamic thing. It does drop down to like 1080p in certain areas. But for the most part, um, it does hit 4K resolutions in the game. So we'll, we'll record at 4K. So. Wow, really liking that. That is pretty awesome. Yeah, if you guys follow the channel, you know that we did uh, back in October. We did a Scaretober month where it was just back to back to back um, horror titles. And I was surprised. But I really actually and got into And off I those. went on nothing but a hunch. A call from a complete stranger. But I'd learned to trust my instincts. And there was something about this guy, his voice, 
felt like I should know him. Either way, he sure seemed to know me. See, that looks really good there. Yeah, the trees. Great texture of the trees. Yeah, Blue Team's a pretty small studio. I mean, it's not like super small, but indie size wise, but uh, it's definitely bigger than that. But this is definitely one of their most ambitious titles to date. The Neva Workers Resort. Right off the bat, I could feel there was something off about that place. Wow, 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 game save too. But uh, yeah, that's, um, it's looking great. And yeah, I'm definitely pleased so far with how it's running on a console of all things. Um, but we are going to take a pause for the cause right here. If you guys want to see more of this, please let me know by giving this a thumbs up. Um, if this does well, then we'll go ahead and put this on the front burner and start pumping out episodes on this. Um, as you know, we've got quite a, with Spider-Man's go and that's uh, Hitman 3's go and that's, we've got quite a few other titles and still finishing up Cyberpunk. 2077 on the channel so um but yeah if you guys enjoyed this episode sub on the channel definitely helps um if you do decide to sub make sure to hit that notification bell um so you'll get notified when this next episode drops as well as the many others we're doing on the channel at the moment but i just want to say thank you for the love and support on the channel as always until then my friends i will and shall catch you on the other side peace